technician here at Animal Humane Society, and today I'm going to walk you through doing a basic skin scrape on a dog or a cat. Um, to start with, we are going to need some supplies. Our supplies are pretty simple today. What we need is a microscope slide, we need a sterile surgical blade, and we need some mineral oil. So what we're going to want to do to prep to start is we're going to pull out our surgical blade. We're going to scrape it a couple of times just inside the packaging where it's still sterile. And what we're doing here is we're just dulling the blade a little bit because we don't want to slice through the skin on the animal that we're getting the sample from. We're going to take our mineral oil. We're going to add a couple drops to the slide or one big drop as it may be. And we're going to go ahead and add a little bit to our blade too before we proceed. This is our big dog friend, Gibby. And an animal that needs a skin scrape is typically going to have an area of hair loss. Sometimes that hair loss may look kind of scaly or scatty. So, where we're going to want to scrape on an animal is right on the edge of the hair loss where the new hair is growing. We're going to pinch the skin nice and tight. And what that does is if he's got any sort of parasites, they're going to come up to the surface. And we're going to scrape. We don't want so much pressure that we slice into the skin, but we want enough that we're getting those skin cells. And we're going to scrape until we get what we call capillary blood, which is just a little bit of a blood tinge on the skin. You have thick skin, dude. And try not to slice yourself in the process. If you look real close, you can see a little bit of blood color there. We're going to do that in three or four spots where the hair loss is, again, along the edge where the regrowth is. And each time we scrape, we're going to add it to another spot on the mineral oil on the slide and then look at it under the microscope. So we're going to dip this into our mineral oil. And you're going to be able to see those hairs and the skin cells in the oil there. Once we're all set up on our microscope, we're going to want our lens at 10 power. That's all the higher power you need to be able to see the ectoparasites that we're looking for. We're looking for demodex mites, which look kind of like a cigar with legs, or Sarcoptes mange mites, which are a big circle with legs. Um, Demodex is relatively easy to find, Sarcoptes is much more difficult. Looks like this friend doesn't have any ectoparasites. And always make sure you use proper disposal when you're done with your supplies. Your sharps should always go in your red sharps container.